Yeah. We're in. We're live. We're live. Welcome to Come Town. Town. The how does the level sound? Stop. How do the level sound? They sound pretty good. Do how does my new uh, oh, my no, new XLR are, cable these sound? These are bad, dude. Yeah, these oh, wait. wait no. no, you're a touch under five. Nick and I are yeah, a touch above five. Whatever. Who gives a fuck? Just keep your mouths on the fucking mics. Man. I'm going to do that. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. we all know about the inches, but where are the levels at? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we're f- like 5.1 inches each. Yeah. <laughs> Above average. Stop. Humble brag. No, I'm at five. Slightly I'm a, below, I'm at 5. baby. 5.62, if I had to guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I put on a little weight. Yeah. It kind of fucked up. You know, it kind of stole that. She saw this like insane too. techno music playing, and Stav's got this laser measurement system. <laughs> <laughs> Robotic arms descending on his crotch. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing weird science on his. I dick. want every the single X-Men theme plays. <laughs> <to> <laughs> stop <laughs> dick. <laughs> stop dick measured by computers. Dude, I want every single morsel of dick that uh, I yeah. that I can get credit for. I'm not giving uh-huh. up a single fucking iota of. So cock. guys, welcome. Dude, what I do, what I do is I, 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 first of all, I got into foreskin regrowth stuff. Oh, you stretch your foreskin welcome, way out. Welcome, brother. Yeah, but yeah. the sensitivity never returns. It never does. I've, I've, and I've then, researched. Well, I twisted my dick 180 degrees mm-hmm. and then sewed the tip of my dick onto the uh, where it meets my balls. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. So my dick forms a Mobius strip, and that way. You know, a woman's like, what the fuck is that? I'm like, bitch, it's technically infinity inches. Ooh. Mm. Continues forever, you What idiot. is Mobius? A Mobius strip is a... Classic circle dick. Yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry like, I'm doing sixth grade geometry like references. An infi- like an infinity scarf? I don't know what an infinity... Oh, uh, yeah, an probably. Infinity. An infinity scarf is probably a Mobius strip. Yeah. This is a Mobius strip. Just a circle? It's... Nick is d- demonstrating with cardboard what a Mobius strip is. So you take that, and you fold that. that okay. Way. Looks kind of like a circle. It's not a circle. So there's that's only there's only one side to that uh-huh, strip. Uh huh. Uh huh. But it continues forever. I see. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Well, can it be a small Mobius strip though, even if it continues forever? Yes. So you have a little ass Mobius strip. No. Mm-hmm. Yep. It continues yep. forever. No, but it's small. You said they could be small. I said the the Got Mobius. Got you, bro. Strip. Hey, listen, mm. man. Facts don't care about your motherfucking feelings, pal. Neither okay? do my feel. My feelings don't care about facts. Yeah, that's true. And that way they trump facts. They no. they go beyond it. And no. my feeling is that you're wrong. <laughs> well, the fact is you have a little ass Mobius strict yeah. dick. I would like to host public debates <laughs> just for the complete morons. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's about like redistricting yeah, in some yeah. town in Indiana. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's just me and you. Yeah. It's like people that come out to this town hall. And like, <laughs> actually, your dick is the one that's small. <laughs> Oh, I thought. <laughs> I'm like, what? There's all these townspeople that are like, what? But my son still doesn't have, you know, lunch paid for. I'm like, oh, sir, I, you'll get a minute. Sir, please. After we resolve this issue, yeah, we will. We, it's we, the we problem refuse. is that my balls are so big. <laughs> <laughs> so my dick is little. My dick is medium size. Uh, yeah. but my balls are gigantic. Yeah. <laughs> I think it was just the, the, the true fall of the Roman Empire <laughs> <laughs> is the public forum <laughs> debates about whose dick was worse. <laughs> what if you had like you got like Noam Chomsky and like Zizek, mm-hmm, and then yeah. we were the moderators, and then we asked them like if you mm-hmm. sewed your dick into a Mobius strip, yes. would, would it, it be, be big or small? Infinity length, or would it be very small? Yes, you yes, know? yes. And then they would be like, "This is crazy. I yeah. can't understand." I want to ask him that thing about shitting hamburgers. Which you know, one? If you shit out a yeah. perfect hamburger, would you eat it? <laughs> what did you say about God? Being a cupcake that you fuck nah, and then you eat. What I said was you could do whatever you wanted if you were God. Yeah. You could make a piece of cake that sucks your dick, and then you eat it, and it doesn't taste like semen. Like the 50 Cent song. Because you're God. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's what that song is about. <laughs> Which 50 Cent song? If I Could Be God. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. A girl, I'm going to turn you into a birthday cake that sucks dick. Uh-huh. <laughs> what up, what up, what up, well. If I could be God, <laughs> everyone knows that song. Okay. I'm more familiar mm-hmm. with the uh, "I smell pussy." Mm-hmm. I think it's coming from you, Adam. Yeah. What are you talking about? The pussy smell. That's what that song is. Mom no, I think that you're the, you're emanating. I think it's coming from Speaking you. Speaking of which, ladies, you don't need to clean yourselves that often. Okay. You know? Your pussy. This is an interesting. Yeah, take. We, you know, a, a non <laughs> a pussy that doesn't smell like anything. Uh huh. 
You need to fuck your pH up, levels up a bit. Okay. Why don't you just put some fun dip powder? So in you there want a real skunked out puss? No, I, I like a French. Out. <laughs> you did. I like no, a French onion style pussy. <laughs> yeah. oh, okay, with a little strip of cheese you yeah. pull off, of <laughs> blocking the oh, pussy hole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that melted fucking gouda yeah. covering the clit. That is. Yeah. Uh, when's the last time you had French onion soup? But I'm not a big fan of it. It's, it's been it, a while. I had a really good one the other day. Where? Mm-hmm. And it really reminded me of if it's good, it's good. Uh, this place by here. <laughs> Don't you mean <laughs> Very good. Freedom Onion Soup? Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, yeah, so that's true. fucking frogs. The Politopod. Fuck, fuck the French. Yeah. So are we going to book our flights? Macron. That, we'll book the flights at some point. Macron can suck my hard cock. Macron, Macrosteno, and just Macron in sh- for short, means long in Greek. So Macro. Yeah. Macro, exactly. Yeah, like so large. Okay, yeah, and it I means, guess it so means large I think in Macron, English, too. Ma- Macron might have a big dick, but then micro means small, micro. Yeah, micro. Fuck. It's yeah, the yeah, same yeah, in yeah, English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Both yeah, of those yeah. words are the same. Well, but, <laughs> but what I'm saying is I think about Macron having a big dick. Yeah, because he dick. fucked his teacher. Yeah, that, which is tiny. And then wife for teacher, baby. Respect to him. For he that. wifed his French teacher. Ooh, d- d- respect revoked. You can't be wifing up that old bitch, dude. She's mm-hmm. an old bitch. Although he probably gets pussy. French French people legally have to get side pussy. French people fuck a lot. Yeah. It's weird that they're they're such miserable people. I bet you they're having a nice time. No. French people don't enjoy life. I'm trying to think some of them it. some of them probably do. They're part they're party French people. Yeah, they party, but they don't enjoy life. Well, they just have nice. They have very nice lives that they hate. They have existentialism. Cool. I mean, I know what that's. We all know what that's like. Mm-hmm. Um, that's basically, what our lives. Yeah, we're basically are. French. People. We're French, dude. I'm on if the. You Riviera. become successful enough, you turn. This is a French, French style, French style podcast for yeah. sure. Baguette. That guy, you know that baguettes. guy Eric that I'm friends with. He went. He did a study abroad in France. Dude. And Dude, he like, sick. He used to get <laughs> in arguments. Adam Adam gets mad that I do better impressions of his no, friends I than better, I do. No, I do a better Eric than you. No, I do a better Eric. I do a better Jonah. I do a better Ari. You do a better Jonah. I do a better Ari. No, you Eric. don't. You yes, add, I do. Mm, let's, I don't, let's have an Ari. Jonah's off. probably going to arrive while your, we're doing your the Your Ari is just a copy of mine. Well, I, I, I will close Ari my eyes. Did. I will close okay. my eyes. You, you can guys, hear from what side of the room it's coming from. <laughs> no, I've got headphones on. I don't like these competitions. First I will of close all, my eyes. Look, I, already said. I am the master of this podcast. I will decide who wins the competition. Okay, so I'll do. Ahead. I'll do Eric. Right now, Adam's in the lead because I'm getting a little too much lip from you, Nick. So go ahead. Thank you, Stavros. Go okay. ahead. This is Eric. It, it, there's <clears throat> a bias there. No, 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 no. Round one. It has nothing to do no. with the fucking impression. Yes, it does. You <laughs> just admitted respect that you're fucking biased. To the, respect no, we're to gonna do. We're gonna do an impression. Sportsmanship. This is an impression competition of two people that no one. <laughs> no, it's who they are. No one listening has any idea. Save for like it's maybe the guys three that people. hang out in the DJ booth at Funny Mobs. Yes. Yeah, so now, no, guys, no, Eric, Eric does it, but yeah. we're not talking about Eric. Let's we're go. not doing Eric. You can do Eric. Go do. I Eric. can't do Jonah. Jonah's hard, and, and okay. So you Nick already, so Jonah. you already see. Jonah. I see Jonah. Okay. Go. I've Eric. been doing Eric for like ten years. Go Eric. How long have you been doing Ari? Ari for <laughs> more than that. Ari and I've been. Uh, how about how long have you been we doing him? Doing impression, impression. Hey, how long have you been doing it? Listen, guys, impression, got, impre- how long have you been doing of him? Listen, I've been doing an impression of him since we were maybe fourteen or fifteen. Okay, I, I reject. I that. don't listen. Nick, I've never once. I see it. the line of question you're going down, and what you're trying to do is logic your way to this win. When it, you got to get in the booth and voice your way. to Okay, this win. let's do it. Let's okay. do it. Blind, blind test. Blind okay, test. Here's Eric. Okay, so there was this batch. Okay, uh, in Spokane. Hold on, we're getting some static. Move your. What phone. do you mean? Move your phone. Okay, so there's this bitch in Spokane, Washington, mm-hmm. who was she was a white she, she's a white bitch, mm-hmm. but she was con, she was head of the NWACP. Okay, yeah. Next, okay, dude, Adam is such a bitch. Oh damn, that's pretty good. Adam's Adam's impression is the worst fucking impression dude, I've ever heard. Dude. This storm, this storm's beast, dude. <laughs> dude, Adam has the <laughs> fucking literally the worst fucking impression. Of See, me. the only problem is that you're bleeding into a different impression that you do, which we shall remain nameless. But I'm gonna give this one. to... Wait, who is the other one? What was I'm the other give one? This one to Nick. Oh, What's the thanks. other impression? Who? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah no, they have yeah, similar yeah. voices. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> I don't, I don't accept that. You, I don't know. It does. Next one, I'm the master. It doesn't okay. matter what you fucking accept. And this is, uh, this is Ari. Also, you can say Aaron Berg's name. You're right. <laughs> Wait, Aaron's not going to get his feelings hurt that I do an impression of him. You're right. Notorious. Everyone does an impression of him. You're right. We all do his voice. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's like, don't tell Lewis we're doing his voice. 
I don't, look, I'm in master mode. I'm not in come time. So that mode. was. So you're saying that he did an Aaron Burke impression, mm-hmm. and I did an Listen, Eric impression. Stop. You should quietly mouth things to me more often. Yeah, <laughs> I kind of yeah that I interaction. Like, I like I liked that interaction. It was secret. Yeah, like, yeah, is yeah. there gonna be chocolate? Later? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Will there be chocolates? <laughs> Will there be chocolates? <laughs> <laughs> okay, next mm-hmm. one, please. Adam Adam has the shittiest impression of Ari. No. No, that's not it at all. No, it is. When, when I was a kid, people used to say that my dad was a pornographer, but he actually owns a business that does medical device uh, instructional videos. That's terrible. No, it's mm. he does no, medical really device too close instructional to call, videos. Too close to call, Florida. Yeah. Florida. So. Hanging Chad. Hanging Chad. So Nick Supreme wins. Supreme Court. Two to one. You seated Jonah. Ding, 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 ding. He wins. He that wins. was That was the uh, Louis Gomez versus Ryan O'Neal yeah. of impressions. <laughs> fights. Did Louis wreck it? Shouts out to Louis. Uh, Louis won. And you know what? He I'm won. not going to take a single thing away from that man. I didn't except to make footage. fun of him for wearing a shirt and said that it was an embarrassing fight H- to watch. Hilarious <laughs> that he did wear a shirt. It's so funny. Because he, he got in pretty he good shape. Like, he got in pretty good shape. He didn't wear a shirt. He wore like a rash guard. Yeah. Like they, you no, wear, I mean like, it literally you, you looked boogie like boarding. It, it looked like a company that it like a startup that makes shirts for fat kids that are afraid of <laughs> the, the pool. pool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, I got flashbacks. Like yeah, a fat kid it's in the a, pool. Oh, it's a rash yeah. guard. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, hey, look, I, 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 I legitimately feel bad for not believing in him, mm-hmm. but. Uh, he triumphed. I mean, I, I, that Ryan guy like sucked. Yeah, didn't he know. have like an MMA guy train him? He did. Yeah, Lewis, Lewis? had all these guys. So Lewis course. knows fighters. Like, he knows fighters. fighters. I was so under the impression like, that that Ryan guy like trained. It did this shit all the time. That's what I thought too. Yeah, and then I mean, you look at him and tell him that oh, he took karate in like 1993. Right, right, right. Mm-hmm. right. Yeah, I yeah, saw. I, actually, there was the same day. There was another celebrity. Uh, a uh, micro celebrity fight, which was Logan Paul. Your dick, your dick fighting your versus balls? my dick. A micro, a micro fight? versus some. Uh, Thank you. Some hey, get out of here, <laughs> child ahead. Right. Versus some boys. Some we're, we just, we're out of the little balls. Well, settle, settle <laughs> down, no, boys. <laughs> Let's not hate each other again. Shut up, asshole. Shut up, you fucking <laughs> faggot. We could have been a pussy if it weren't for you. You've seen my ball. You know how much harder it is to make money having to be friends with two other guys? We could have just fucked for cash and jewels. <laughs> Adam's dick mad he couldn't put, sell his theoretical pussy Could for you jewels. get jewelry for your dick? Yeah. Yeah, of course. That would I be mean, cool. Me and Sob were talking about getting chains and rings and shit. And for getting, your dick? Well, for our you I know, want bodies. Chain. I want a chain for sure. Yeah, I, I have a chain. I've been wearing a chain. Yeah, recently. but you don't pull it off. Yeah, you the, actually the do wear swag. jewelry. You got the little earring. I have an earring and a chain. I'm a jewelry guy now. That That's mean? really the only thing the podcast has changed about me. Yeah. yeah. I've become a jewelry guy. I want I want a chain really bad. If anyone knows where to get a good chain in Somebody New York Somebody sent me a Tony the Tiger chain. That's cool. You know what? I still have yet to regret giving my address out to people. Everything I receive is such a pleasant yeah, surprise. I would mm. if I didn't live with other people. The only thing I feel bad about receiving is somebody, somebody sent me, they're like, hey, you know, like, I know you like uh, reading and stuff. Here's like a novelette I wrote. Or, and it's like, and I, you're like, <laughs> well, I'm sure, it's, gay I'm sure it's good. I just like, <laughs> I don't have time to read 50 pages of. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Some guy's bringing his copy of Call Me By Your Name to have you sign tonight. Of right. Moms. I'm, I'm too busy rereading Call Me By Your Name. <laughs> no, he is. He's, he said, can Nick sign it? And I was like, of I believe course. That. Sure. Oh, okay. Um, and then someone else asked if we could sign the Chapo book, and I said no. How about Call Me By Your Train? Mm-hmm. And it's oh. about two autistic guys that fuck each other. <laughs> yeah. Fall in love. <laughs> two autistic guys that run Call a train each on each other. Yeah. Do you think that like train hobos <laughs> in the twenty in the thirties sucking fucked? Were like uh, autistic guys that like, you know no. that was like the they just didn't know they no, had autism. Because everything had gears and machinery the way trains do. Oh everything then. was steampunk yeah. back then. So they were aut- in fact they were probably cool guys. They might have been gay guys that just wanted to suck and fuck on those trains. Train hobos had to have been, there had to have been a disproportionate amount of autistic guys. No, yeah. I think gay I guys. I think so. I, and I'm basing that strictly. You think it's gay guys? I'm basing that strictly off of Mad Men where Sal, the it's gay a shame Italian that, guy. that before he died, John McCain's brain tumor didn't cause him to just act out in like very public homosexual displays. <laughs> <laughs> how funny would that have been? I'm I know a, that's not how brain tumors work. I'm a goddamn work. queer. Yeah. Just yeah. bring me that goddamn dick and put it in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> R.I.P. to the Maverick, man. Yeah. You know? 
the yeah. fucking true maverick. Look, well, you don't I, have to. You don't have to agree with the fact that the guy, you know, wanted to drag us into war with every mm-hmm, country in the world mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and and kill a bunch of people. Yep. Mm-hmm. But you do have to expect that he was a war hero. You have to respect mm-hmm. that he crashes some yeah. fucking plane <laughs> and, got, <laughs> and got, got captured. He got, he look, man, that's the only part I can relate to is like <laughs> being bad at doing your job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he that, was that's, good at, he just didn't. That's get what released, I meant by war right? hero. Yeah, yeah. The only part of him I identify with is the bad at flying. Yeah, part. yeah, yeah. I couldn't fly a plane. Yeah, but he got to fly because his dad owned was like an admiral. Yeah, in the Navy. his dad yeah. owned the army. He owned yeah, the yeah, Navy, yeah. <laughs> something like that. Yeah. Well, his he dad did, was the boss of the army. Yeah, yeah. I will give him credit for not getting released or whatever, but whatever. Here's what I was thinking: What if he gets to heaven? And the juiciest pussy of all time is there, mm-hmm. but you have to reach above your head to get it. Mm-hmm. And he can't. And he can't. You think? You think well, he'll still be paralyzed? His arms back. Yeah. In yeah. No, no, he wouldn't. Uh, but what? You know what else would be funny if everyone's saying like Aretha Franklin yeah. is in heaven and shit? Mm-hmm. What if he gets there? All those fucking North well, Vietnamese guys. Well, are his, there. No, what happens to be there? Prison. Of course, there he gets in? the yeah, seventy-two the seventy-two virgins for his contributions to global jihad. Yeah. <laughs> Turns out heaven's real. <laughs> but then the Muslim God is like, no, you've actually really helped. <laughs> you've actually done a lot for yeah. jihad, believe it or not. Yeah. He's like, fuck it, just give me the goddamn pussy. Yeah. <laughs> give me that. Bro. And they're all Vietnamese pussy. lady boys. Mm-hmm. Yeah, secret VC. Mm-hmm. Oh, Spies. Yeah. The good shit. Yeah, the good shit. Mm, that's the Viet cunt. Right. <laughs> Viet cunt. <cunts. laughs> we got Viet cunt. So I do want to say in these trying times, if um, anyone has a picture of his daughter's titties, I, uh, then I will look Megan? at Megan? Yeah, they're pretty big. She's busted, dude. Dude. She's listen, nasty. Say what you will about her father's foreign policy, but I will not. I will not have you fucking disrespect how big that lady's titties are. You see are. her get owned by Joy Behar on That's, The View. That was awesome. That was so funny. I wanted to suck off Joy right then and there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's, I, I used to think it was very funny when uh, Fred Armisen did Joy Behar on How about instead of Joy Behar, it's Boy Behar. <laughs> yeah. Okay. She's, it's guys only. Okay. And so it's still a woman named Joy Behar. <laughs> yeah, but only men can fuck her? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this pussy's just for the fellas. Oh, shit. Where are we at? I forgot to uh, keep track of oh, this. Oh, we are at... Can you see Adam? I can't see. Uh, 17. 17. 17 inches of so a little, dick. A little timerino here. Time, time, timer, 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 timer. Um, so yeah. you ever you ever set the stopwatch on your phone and you forget to turn it off and then mm-hmm. you check it days later and you're like, fuck, I'm just dying. Yeah. Yeah. It's been 182 hours. Yeah. I and know. you've done nothing. Have nothing dude. Yeah. Nothing. I've cycled through the same four problems in my head <laughs> that there's no solution to really. Yeah. Well, there's the final solution. The final, yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> the final countdown. <laughs> um, another thing that happened. Some guy, some guy got got it. Some guy shot up a fucking Madden tournament. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sounds like yeah. he was super mad and pretty <laughs> mad. <laughs> Sounds yeah. like he was a pretty mad guy. Do you ever watch Rage Quit Comps? Compilations no. on YouTube. You know, made better bad. is the guy so driving funny. a John Madden bus through a crowd. That's true. That yeah, would have yeah, been yeah. the ultimate. If it was John crime. Madden shooting up the John yeah. Madden tournament. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, John. You goddamn nerds. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody drove a John Madden bus through Bastille Day. <laughs> <laughs> Madden's confused. He's trying to get to that game in London. Yeah. <laughs> he just ended up killing people. And what the fuck they do at Bastille? They they rush the prison. Is that correct? That's yeah, they cool. stormed the Bastille. Is that uh, the prison, the Bastille? Yeah. The Bastille was the prison where they kept all of the uh, the good the pussy. French the good Revolution pussy. people. <laughs> For yeah. sure. Something like that. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. My yeah. only knowledge of the French Revolution comes from Tale of Two Cities. Mm-hmm. And my only knowledge of Tale of Two Cities comes from Tale Wish of Two bone? Kitties, the Garfield <laughs> sequel. <laughs> so from my understanding, is the Dover represents the original Garfield, whereas mm-hmm. Calais is... Obviously, the imposter Garfield. Uh, yes. <laughs> it's all because all the rich Garfields were hiding all the lasagna. Uh-huh. And then the fucking Odies did some other shit. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm not even familiar with Tale of Two Kitties. I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a real thing? <laughs> oh, you haven't read the novelization of Garfield? <laughs> was that a real movie? <laughs> yeah, dude. You don't remember was Tale Bill Murray in it? I know he was in the first the, one. Uh, tale of... No, I think it was Lorenzo Music. That's who? the guy's name? That, no, you know what? That's who played Garfield on the animated series. Lorenzo Music? Yeah. What? That's a cool-ass name, dude. Wow, uh, Nick. Did he play music? Uh, 
Get your phone away from the No, I'm looking up the fucking Garfield, Tale of Two Kitties. 2006 British-American family comedy film uh, written by the Coen brothers, actually. (laughs) That's what they... Yeah, literally written by... Joel Cohen, who's no. a different guy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's why <laughs> Bill Murray said he agreed to it because he thought it was a Cohen Brothers movie. That's so fucking yeah. funny. It's a sequel to 2004 That's film, Garfield. Some movie. other guy named Joel Cohen Does wrote it. Does Bill Murray it. fuck uh, Scarlett Johansson in that movie in Japan? No, they're friends. Damn. I've never yeah, Bill it. Murray's in it. But that would be tight. Bob Hoskins is in it. Damn. Man, he made some Super mistakes, Mario? dude. <laughs> the Super Mario movie is so fucking funny. Yeah. I haven't seen it. Such a piece of shit. It's hilarious because like they went to some coked out '80s screenwriter and was like, "Look, can you adapt this game?" And the guy's like, "All right, yeah, yeah, what, yeah. what, what, what is a game? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, he's like he's an Italian plumber and he's got to fight this turtle. He's like, yeah, that's enough. I'll yeah, figure yeah. it out.' Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're like, yeah, it's a lizard dimension, and you know, Dennis Hopper is like." He's Bowser, right? He's Bowser. I've been playing Mario Tennis. Yeah. This shit's tight, dude. Yeah. I've been whooping Elvis's ass in Mario Tennis. Yeah. I just bought a couple more controllers for the Switch, boys. You should come over and play doubles. Yeah. You know what we should play is poker. Yeah. A gambling and other game. Ga- maybe we can we gamble on Maybe gamble at BetDSI.com. <laughs> yeah. oh. BetDSI, the premier sports betting sports book website. Uh-huh. Yeah, they've been in business over 20 years, paying out winners. <laughs> They got an easy to use, mm-hmm. fun mobile app. Oh, I love fun that's as amazing. opposed to the regular kind of app. That suck dick. I get on them and I'm like, ah, dude, what the fuck is this? Apps. I need a mobile app. I don't need something I have yeah. to sit down and use. At the mm-hmm. computer, you dock your phone on the and use both hands. I'm on the go constantly. Always on the I go. I need a mobile app. Always gambling on betdsi.com. Mm-hmm. Uh, they got easy to use, 24 7, 365 days a week, 366 if you're lucky. Oh yeah, leap you know, year, leap year. <laughs> <laughs> That's, uh, that's, you got it. I don't know, I can't think of anything really good. No, you. I don't know, you kill, that's here, you kill yourself, yeah. take a jump off. Jump, mm. yep. Might as well jump. Might as well jump. jump. Suck Van my Halen. dick. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, you can bet on other shit too, you know, in-game motherfucking wager. about trans Also good. Yeah, bet the, on that at <laughs> betdsi.com. <laughs> mm-hmm. bet the concept of trans Van <laughs> <laughs> Call up the customer service, dude. Twenty four seven, three hundred sixty five days a week. You say, "How about trans hell?" And he's like, "Yes." And then, you, and then you ask them for the promo code. Mm-hmm. No, they, I did get a little bit of pushback for them because I said the promo code wrong again. Oh, so maybe it's not my fault, it, right? Dude. They changed it on me. So we have any picks, Stav? Um, let's see here. Yes, There's a, you know, here's my here's my pick. Oh, yeah, I think you were just about to say it. In the motherfucking U.S. Open, fucking uh, Tsitsipas. Tsitsipas? I don't know how you fucking say his name, all right? But there's a Greek fucking tennis player. Put uh-huh. your whole fucking... Put your money on that motherfucker. Isn't that that, that guy Kyrgios or whatever? He's, no, he's not no, Greek. No, he's Australian. He's Australian. He's ethnically Greek, lives in Australia. This guy is fucking... Tsitsipas is fucking Greek, bro. Got the little Greek flag next to his name. Uh-huh. His name is Shits his Pants? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shits his Pants. I don't know what his fucking first name is. Um, I think yeah, Stenios. definitely bet on this guy who Stav doesn't know his first name. Le- yes, <laughs> bet on him, dude. His name is this Stavros. Guy. Oh, you gotta bet on this guy. His name's, uh, I don't know, something. Stefan. But I, Stefanos Tsitsipas. Okay. Who's that boy? And you're betting Stephanie? on him to win it all? Him the whole motherfucking thing. He's going to win the whole tournament. What's he ranked? Whole, he's ranked you know? 15th. 15th? Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Good money. You get good, good odds on that motherfucker. Um, for me, I don't think you can bet on it, but there is a tournament on Twitter for the worst online uh, fan base, most annoying fan base. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, I saw that. And I saw that our fans made it through the first round. I, I want to make it the whole goddamn way through. Yeah. We're going up against Chris Hardwick in Which this round. Which is tough. None of us have raped or whatever he did, but... Did he rape? I don't know. He did something bad. Yeah. Some bad shit. But well, I, I believe look, in you boys. Allegedly, but he he held that girl at gunpoint when she was eight, and he fucked her mouth and ass in, <laughs> at, at, in front of a Comic-Con panel. Oh, yeah. I don't remember. I mean, this is allegedly, already... Allegedly. This is already already a month ago, so I don't remember all the details. Yeah, yeah. Something, <laughs> something along those He did those that lines. a month ago? Yeah. And he got yeah. his job back? He, yeah. That's he, what he got him back. He just yeah, repeatedly fucked him, him out and then just blew a giant load all over her face and he mm-hmm. said, how's that for a meltdown? Yeah. yeah. Oh, the yeah. meltdown. Yeah, yeah, I get that. Meltdown comics. Yeah. I've got a comic book for you right here and he had a book of 
pictures, pictures of her nude as an infant. Oh my oh, god! Held together with his own cum. That's really that's terrible. Yeah, that's and he was up. the bound with his own semen. And he did we ever finish this read? What? Oh, oh yeah. So anyways, Bet DSI. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. I think we could beat Bet DSI. Hey, com. hey pal. You can, bet, you can bet on it. <laughs> <laughs> when they'll pull their ad rates, <laughs> which is you know, probably already happening. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna, they're gonna cancel <laughs> our account. You gotta bet those Greek guys. That <laughs> Stefano's Titipas, baby. Stefano shits his pants, <laughs> and you can do it with promo code come one twenty C U M one two zero, and they will give you a hundred and twenty percent bonus on your deposit. Mm-hmm. You know, so you put down two hundred dollars, <laughs> you get Stavros hit him with the math. Oh, dude, so you get. <clears throat> A hundred and twenty percent of whatever. Two hundred and forty dollars. Two hundred and forty dollars. Yep. Bonus. I think, I think Bonus. that was right. Yeah, so that's total, right. Three hundred and seventy dollars. <laughs> that's right. When you really do, when you really crunch. I think the if you add them together, that's yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yes, do that. Everyone. Yeah, and I think it was weird that they wanted us to say all that stuff about Chris Hardwick, <laughs> <Yeah>. but <laughs> <laughs> legally they did not ask us to do that. Um, but you know what? BetDSI.com is not affiliated with the Come Town podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Outside of the promo code, which is affi- uh, it is. We part. also have little ass dicks. But that's um, just me, stuff, stuff, Nick and Adam, not Betsy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't understand why that part was been added. I just like talking in dumb voices like this. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. So, anyways, step Versus- on us. I was watching Michael Winslow videos the other day. <laughs> and there's one where he's on like the local news and some shit. And the woman's like, now, the other night on Jim... And then first of all, any like... All of daytime network television, every single one of those those people on there is just drunk out of their minds. Oh, yeah. On loot, like just pain just, pills. Oh, like the... So fucked yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, the midday news. The, yeah. yeah. That's a rough one. Just like a woman who, like, one of her eyes is shut all <laughs> yeah. the way. And she's like, and hey, we'll be back with uh, the Pilates cats in a minute. But first, Michael Winslow, who you may recognize from the Police Academy movies, the interview is fucking hilarious. First of all, he's dressed like a Lego man. <laughs> Like yeah. a, like a Lego for a poor child, where they mm-hmm. just assembled him out of other Lego men. Respect the bright orange, yeah, like pirate pants, bright orange shirt, and a bowling bowler hat. Hell yeah! This uh, uh, like <laughs> like he's never seen anyone put on clothes. <laughs> yeah, before. how old? Like is an he alien know? doing. He's got to be in his fifties or sixties. Yeah. Oh, he's older than fifty. Yeah, he's probably in his like late sixties. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I mean, sixties. Yeah, yeah. Police Academy is like early eighties, right? Yeah. Well, good. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Anyway. Yeah. Net worth. Google that. He's, uh, he's not that rich, dude. He's doing gigs with Irwin. Well, yeah, she's like, <laughs> she's talking about, she's talking about like, uh, you know, well, last night on uh, Jimmy Fallon, we saw you do an impression of Jimi Hendrix's guitar. Can oh, you do 59. that for us? And he goes, 59? Yeah. Well done. Adam. Yeah. He goes, uh, you, got, uh, we, uh, uh, you did an impression of Jimi Hendrix's guitar. Can you do that for us? And he goes, no, <laughs> and he, just, he just wouldn't do any. Sound he effect. saves that for the for the stage. He wouldn't do any. Sound. The only no. sound effect he does while he's on there is it's a like, chicken, which is which. <laughs> any, yeah, burp, 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 burp. Anyone, anyone can do, do that. Yeah. Anyone can do the chicken. That There's rules. nothing that differentiates Michael Winslow. And then she's asking him. She's like, "Do you have any advice for younger people trying to get into?" This, and there's not even a name yeah, for what he yeah. does. Sound effects. And the only advice should be do something. I mean, there's only one Michael Winslow. Yeah. It's not like there's a whole industry of people that make sound effects. Right. And even he's obsolete. Granted, <laughs> I haven't looked into it yet. Yeah, she's like, and can we look for you in anything? And he's like, I swear to fucking God. He goes, well, you know, uh, uh, I can't promise anything, but there are rumors abound about a Police Academy 8. Oh, <laughs> oh no. no. That's miserable. <laughs> Yeah. Didn't Gutenberg retire from acting? Isn't Gutenberg dead? No, no, no. He's not dead. He was funny as shit. Oh, Rick in, um, Moranis retired from acting. Yeah, because his wife died or whatever. Yeah. Um, Gutenberg, he did a hilarious thing on uh, Party Down. Oh, I remember that. Where he yeah. was like, "Oh, Gutenberg's kind of ripped now. He's ripped. Yeah, he's and got he's like a good-looking guy. Yeah, yeah. He looks good. Yeah, he's still See, got Gutenberg his hair. Was like the most famous guy of all time for like three years. He had a run. So weird. Uh-huh. He had a run, and then it just didn't happen. I was always a Steve. You Gutenberg think Hanks? Guy. You think it's because Tom Hanks just came through and was cuter than him? I don't know. I thought he was incredibly charismatic, funny. But basically, they're in the same lane. Yeah, I guess so. You know what I mean? Tom Hanks fucked that fish, and everyone's like, yeah. "Oh, God. I mean, it is weird that Tom Hanks is as successful as he is because it's not. He's, he's not. So, he's so milk toast. He's so boring, and he's not in anything that's really particularly good. Where does that come from? Milk Big. toast. 
big. I don't know. No, nah, it's not that. Not good. a fan of that. No. What is the best? What is the best Tom Hanks movie? Saving Private Ryan. Yeah. Yeah, but that doesn't really count. Um, not really. The one where he fucks. No, nah, Saving Private Ryan counts. Yeah. Daryl Hannah. Yeah. All right. Say not saving. Private no, no. Ryan. He's actually actually that that scene at the end of Captain Phillips where he like doesn't realize at first that he's been rescued and then it hits him. It's good acting. He's a good actor. It is I good. Think he's a good actor. He does. He does kind of. It is pretty good. Oh, Castaway. Castaway is he. He acts real hard. That whole movie is just him. Forrest and that ball. Gump. Forrest Gump sucks. <laughs> the Terminal. Sully. Yeah. The Green Mile. Philadelphia. Yeah, what's this guy? He does a couple of Philadelphia. airport <laughs> yeah. bullshit. A couple of fucking airport movies. Green you know, Mile. Eight Meg one. Ryan's Pussy or something. Mm-hmm. Philadelphia. He acts. He acts good in that. Yeah. Sleepless in Seattle. That's that's a fucking great that's one. That's a good one. Dude. <laughs> uh, Cloud Atlas. Damn, remember how stupid that movie that was? That movie was a piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> there was, uh, that came out... They have like Chinese versions of themselves. They're wearing like prosthetics. <laughs> I didn't Salute. see... There was all this... It was that, that movie, uh, uh, The Golden Compass, and then like Sky Captain in the World of Tomorrow. No, there was, there was also... There these movies that had Percy titles Jackson. where it's like, oh, I'll never see this. What's the shit about the guy and the tiger on the boat? Oh, I used to pie. I used to confuse that with Cloud Atlas. Mm-hmm. I re- I, used, I read the Golden Life Compass. Guy and it's guys only. Yeah. yeah, hell yeah. Um, I read the Golden Compass as a little kid. Shit was good, dude. You get some shit called a Damon or some shit. A Matt Damon. It's like a little. Like I remember little reading uh, like it was, it was like Stormfront or something when Golden Compass came out. Yeah, there was like a, an article about uh, <laughs> not an article like a post on the forum. Uh-huh. Oh, do you mean you were? Re- I thought that was like the name of another book, but you mean the racist? Forum. Oh, the racist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah okay, yeah. <laughs> no, I found a, I found a thread on it was either Stormfront or like Vanguard News Network or something where somebody was complaining about uh, the Golden Compass, and <laughs> I mean, it was the Golden Compass or something. It's one of those types of movies. Yeah. And how they, and I think I've told this story on the podcast before, how they enjoyed it aside from the, the quote, N word centaurs. <laughs> <laughs> like, as a racist, the fact that the black people in the movie are half animal should yeah. actually be like, you think that's like them meeting you halfway. Mm. You yeah, know what I mean? Right. Like, <laughs> this guy's just imagining his girlfriend being fucked by a literal horse. <laughs> Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck, dude! That's yeah. so funny. You know what? I'm looking at Tom Hanks. Is I take back what I said. He's got quite the career here. Oh, he's crushed it. A league of their own. <laughs> yeah, Tom Hanks rules, and he's very good. No, I don't like Tom Hanks. Who's your favorite actor? My favorite actor of all time, it's like mainstream. Paul Newman. All right, that's a good actor. Paul choice. Newman's all the right, best actor. That's a good that's choice. Ever <clears throat> Was he ever in Turner and Hooch though? With, where he co-starred with a fucking dog? Remember Cop and a Half? I don't. It's Burt Reynolds and some little black kid. <laughs> <laughs> the little kid got to be a cop? Yeah, Burt Reynolds has to like take some black... You don't remember Cop and a Half? No. It was like one of my favorite movies when I was a little kid. I don't remember that. It's just some piece of shit Burt Reynolds comedy. Yeah, yeah. That Where I, nothing's funny. I know. There's yeah. not a single good I joke. Would, I would watch it over and mm-hmm. over and over again. <laughs> I watched There's a Cop movie with Jay uh, Leno. and it's then... got It's got 15% on, on Rotten oh, Tomatoes. Yeah. Have you seen that cop movie with Jay Leno and Mr. Miyagi? No. And it takes place in Detroit? That rule. It's psycho. It's on look HBO this, Go right look now. Look at this picture of... Burt Reynolds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hell yeah, dude. Holy shit. He's clearly wearing rose colored <laughs> glasses. <laughs> clearly fucked up. Oh, uh, man. Remember that story about him posing nude in Playgirl because he thought it was for women? And then yeah. He, yeah. he got pissed off that gay guys were jacking off to him. Yeah. Wow, ah, what the hell is this? <laughs> I thought it was supposed to be women jacking off to me. <laughs> there was a cop and a half new recruit in 2017. A- what with, the what the fuck with what? Lou Diamond Phillips? The, and a girl. They thought that they needed to reboot <laughs> Cop and a Half. Fifteen <laughs> percent on Rotten Tomatoes. No one remembers it. It's no. from when? From like nineteen ninety three. You yeah. know what we should watch? There's a there's a dice movie, The Adventures of Ford Fairline. Yeah, I've never seen it. I want to watch it. Yeah, I think it's on something. I think I almost watched it, but. I was, with, down, I was with company that was like, no, what the fuck is wrong with you? I would love to watch the Dice movie. <laughs> Day of the Laughter died is amazing. It's my favorite comedy album of all time, easily. It's so good. I've listened to it the most, yeah. more than any other comedy album. It's 
Listen, work listen my to brain. the plot of this fucking movie. Hit me with it. Devin Butler is an eight year old boy who lives in Tampa and dreams of being a cop. He watches police <laughs> TV shows, knows police procedures, and plays cops and robbers with his friend. He Ray. killed his own father. One day while <laughs> snooping around in a warehouse. Hell yeah. Already. Yes. What? No one does that. But go yeah. Ahead. He witnesses a murder. <laughs> he goes to the police who want the information, but he refuses to give it unless they make him a cop. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have no other choice but to make him a cop. They then team There's him. nothing in the rule book that says. Yeah. They then team him with veteran cop and child hater, Detective Nick McKenna. Oh, he hates ah. children. Dude, the only scene I remember. Classic conflict. The only I scene I remember that. in that movie is when they're have, they have a sword fight. So they both pull with their yeah. dicks. The eight-year-old boy and Burt Reynolds as a grown man pull their cocks out and sword fight with their piss streams. Wait, really? In the movie, yes. Hell yes. That's yeah. hilarious. Bruce, Burt Reynolds is trying to piss, and the child comes in and goes, sword fight, and then they start sword fighting. <laughs> so Burt Reynolds looks at this child's <laughs> penis <laughs> and pisses on him. <laughs> yeah. What a good-ass movie. Detective Nick McKenna, and they team up in a comic series of events to find the killer and take down a drug kingpin who ordered the hit. Mm. They eventually come to a mutual understanding in order to bring the killer to justice. Hell yeah. Yeah, dude. Cop and a half and uh, Problem Child. Problem Child, I did. Oh, yeah. I I saw that a million. John Ritter just getting owned by this little ass kid. Yeah. That movie, 4% on Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, Problem Child? Child? What? Yeah. I thought that was a great movie. Of course, dude. All the movies you loved as a kid were awful. Damn. Yeah, like Because they're incredibly simple. And it's just like 80 minutes of, you know, like... Somebody stuck my dick in my ass. <laughs> yeah. And then that's like, yeah, just like, laxative <laughs> pranks. that gets to be yeah. president. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, Every one of those movies had a thing where first kid, someone mm-hmm. accidentally had yeah. laxatives. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was like, all these liberals that are like, how am I going to explain Trump to my son or whatever? And it's like, D- Trump as president would make an excellent early 90s children's movie. <laughs> that movies. is true. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're like, he's bad, but they can't stop him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now he has control of the nukes. <laughs> <laughs> What's he doing with it? Cheating on his wife <laughs> <laughs> and eating candy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this summer, problem child four. <laughs> Ronald, problem president. Ronald Plump, dude. Take yeah, that, Ronald Plump. Ronald Plump. They dude. defeated him with logic and reason, <laughs> and jacked old men yeah. that you definitely don't want to fuck your ass, hold you down and fuck your ass. Those, yeah, those two twin brothers. Mm-hmm. They just look like Ken dolls. They yeah. fuck each other. I definitely. forgot. Michael Richards was in Problem Child. Oh yeah. He oh was. yeah. He was hilarious. Dude. He's, like, He's a great Problem physical child. comedian. No, I'm gonna t- <laughs> <laughs> teach you some words. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hit the laugh factory uh, problem, child. <laughs> dude, those clips of like Seinfeld when they would when like, they edited when they, they edited. Oh, no, the bloopers where you get mad at them, you get mad, yeah, yeah. Like they, somebody would like you know laugh during a scene and be like trying to be a fucking professional here yeah, yeah, for yeah. once. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I love the edit. I've said this before, but I love the edit when they there's like an episode of Seinfeld where Kramer's on the news. And they're like, oh, my God, it's Kramer. And then they splice in the, he's a, <laughs> and they're like, oh, Kramer. <laughs> it's just so good, man. Did you see that that edit of Friends Without the Laugh Track where it's just Ross beating up a woman? <laughs> he's like, oh. the, the girls take a self-defense class, and then he feels like emasculated because he can't fight. Hell yeah. And so at the end, like, he has to, like, he fights a woman to prove that he's Fuck, strong. Yeah, dude. But there's no laugh track, so it's just like that rule. <laughs> the, one where, the one where it's like... Ross showing up and he's explaining how he like accidentally like tried to have sex with a fourteen year old or something. What? But they edited the laugh track out, so it's just Ross being like, "I didn't know she was 14. <laughs> <laughs> or something like that. Uh, yeah, Ross is a pedophile. That's how I feel about what we just said about all those shitty movies. Because I used to love Friends, dude. When I was like a little kid, I was like, "Hell yeah. yeah, this is my shit." When I was like ten, I was like, "Yeah, can't wait to be a cool adult." I can't wait to have friends, dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I watch that show and f- just fantasize <laughs> about someone talking to me. I want to go to. A, I was like, dude, at a coffee shop. <laughs> it's gonna be cool as <laughs> yeah, yeah. When I'm in a coffee shop, yeah. I remember seeing Office Space when I was in like sixth grade. I'm like, man, I can't wait to have a job. <laughs> 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 to my own apartment where I drink two beers before passing out. <laughs> and uh, you know, I'll be honest. When I was like twenty, twenty one. And I worked in a fucking shitty call center and like yeah. came home and drank myself to sleep. It was all right. It wasn't bad. It was pretty good. Yeah. The, yeah. Because why it was pretty good was because you were just like. You're dumb. Exactly. You're like not 
you're between childhood and actually you're putting mm. off real responsibilities. So uh-huh. it's just like getting to be a big ass kid. Yeah, it yeah. never happened. That was why it's the getting best. in like yeah. eight hours of Call of Duty. Yeah, yeah, oh, fuck, yeah. dude. Yeah, Damn. and feeling good about it. Mm-hmm. But then, but the older I become, the more childish I become. You know, more yeah. more playful. The more yeah. childish yeah. your penis gets. I got a child. <laughs> yeah, I got a childish ass penis. <laughs> <laughs> I tell this bitch my shit ain't small, it's child. <laughs> that might be my favorite character. Right? What's that guy's name? Lorenzo? Yeah. Lorenzo the child with the child's I tell this bitch, look, AM, wake up, I drink my Nescafe espresso. <laughs> All right. Head on down to the nail salon. Get, get my a French shit, manicure. Get my shit b- beautied up. All right. Then I go have a little lunch. The mm-hmm. samples at the Costco. They can't <laughs> kick me out. They don't. They cannot. My face too beautiful. They don't know the difference between me and my auntie. I walk right in there. With <laughs> my same auntie. hair too. Yeah, guys. I did same ha- same ass haircut. You know. Uh-huh. And I, they say under uh, three thousand. Sorry, sorry for the confusion, ma'am. And I say that's all right. I go have two hot pockets. They on display. Those those are mine. I'm getting the first ones. Clean my hands off. Go back to the nail salon. Again, right? <laughs> <laughs> Wash my hands And from that point on We're talking 10, 30, 11 a.m. It's fucking bitches till midnight <laughs> I got I got a whole system set up I know that whole transit system I ride the 43 bus to Yolanda's house <laughs> Fuck that bitch With my childish ass penis <laughs> She don't even wake up That's how I like it <laughs> Uh, I say, uh, stay asleep, bitch. That's right. She's like, oh, who is that? I'm like, shut up. Go back to sleep. It's my auntie. It's yeah. <laughs> she, she she ain't waking up from the dick. She waking up because she smelled the hot the Costco woman. <laughs> waking she up smell to the, the smell. Costco. She can smell. She can smell them Fabergé eggs and the trampolines. <laughs> them Kirkland brand jeans. You know, I say she's like. What is that? Is that 200 batteries for eight ninety nine? I say, shut up, bitch. Go back to sleep. I'm being childish. <laughs> childish ass Lorenzo. Lorenzo, <laughs> go over to my auntie's house. Ooh, you know, I found, I saw a hilarious name that could have been Lorenzo's actual name. There's a quarterback on Florida State named DeAndre Francois. <laughs> <laughs> I remember we saw that truck, Greg War. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Greg War, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, bonjour. Where are the bitches? Bus is out the pussy. Why the bound? Oh, Nick, are you telling me? No, where are we at? Uh, 41. Oh, damn. You know what that means, baby? Yeah. It's time to shit your underwear right off your mm-hmm. fucking body. Whatever mm-hmm. you're wearing, take it off, throw it away. We got better underwear for you. We got Mac Weldon underwear. Mac fucking Weldon, MacWeldon.com. They believe in smart design, premium fabric, simple shopping. Go no matter click, how childish your penis is. Click, buy, win. You know You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, that's yeah. the wrong one. <laughs> you know, I, for a long time, I didn't wear underwear. <laughs> Like oh, Lorenzo. <laughs> Lorenzo, you're a, you're a Mack Weldon user? That's right. It's silky smooth mm-hmm. like butter. Mm-hmm. I got a baby dick and a baby's mind. <laughs> <laughs> smooth like a baby, dick like a baby. Now, you know does your dick smell like Costco also? My dick don't smell like shit, baby. Because Mack Weldon, they got a line of... <laughs> Natural. I don't want to do the voice. <laughs> Silver uh, underwear and shirts that are naturally antimicrobial, which mm-hmm. means that they mm. absorb the odor. It's like a little, uh, little uh, bacon soda. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. a little bacon soda box in the, right. in the cooch. Oh yeah, that's, that's what you do. You put, put a little Arm and Hammer right in that pussy. Ooh, yeah. you, make, you get you make your bitch put the Arm and Hammer <laughs> up in it. Do uh, volcano experiments that's in right. the pussy. That's right. Uh-huh. Put some vinegar down there. Fourth grade science fair. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, yeah, and they got great shirts, hoodies, duffel bags, socks. Oh, shit. Most comfortable shit you'll ever fucking wear in your life. I guarantee it. Mm. Yeah. You're gonna like the way you look. <laughs> 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 what your, if you don't like the underwear? Yeah. <laughs> what happens if you don't like it? dot com. Did somebody say <laughs> McDonald's? <laughs> Is that even a have McDonald's it? <laughs> Just have it your wildly way. violated copyright laws. <laughs> <laughs> just, com- just completely. Ba- 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 we ba- love Mac 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 <laughs> <laughs> uh, Shit. Yeah. You can return to- your shit too. Yeah. You go to like MacWeldon.com. You can't return it. You check yes, them you out. Can. No. If you call them up and complain, so you don't. You like get your money. You get your money back, but they let you keep the underwear because nobody wants to clean your shit. You do do ass. Boss way. You dirty. You nasty ass off the fucking <laughs> underwear. Mm. You go and check them out. Use promo code CUM. 
T O W N. Come Town. Promo mm-hmm. code Come Town, all capital letters received. Nice. 20% off your order. Hell yes. Check them out. MacWeldon.com. They've been with us the whole fucking goddamn time. Salute to Mac yeah. Weldon. Only Ride company. or die. Only Think about all the sponsors we've lost on this mm-hmm. show. Mm-hmm. Yep. We the lost, 700 uh, Club. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yep. The New Adventist Kraft. Church. Mm-hmm. Kraft. Kraft. Macaroni Halliburton. and cheese. Halliburton. <laughs> McDonald Douglas yeah. Airplanes. Mm-hmm. Uh, Blackwater, Teterboro yeah. Private Airport. We used to. They used to be a. Oh right. They used to be the a Westboro Baptist Church. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Baptist Church. <laughs> they stopped advertising way too early. They yeah. should have. They, they should have given us some there. time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just let just let it rock for right. a couple. Just because I said I'd suck George Carlin's dick, <laughs> that I'd go to hell and suck his mm-hmm. dick mm. if it meant we could have. Uh, Find out Rick a couple Moranis more words. Wife back. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what else we can't say on TV, man. Yeah, that's why I want him back. Mm-hmm. You know, the Hunt seven racial it. slurs you're not allowed to say on TV. <laughs> <laughs> Jink, <laughs> <Jig-a-boo>. <laughs> Dude, that clip of him going through all the racial slurs. Oh, I, I put it on Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just edit out the punchline and the setup, and it's the funniest thing <laughs> in the world. It's just five minutes of him. <laughs> Being like kike honky, <laughs> <laughs> and people like a woo, yeah. like applauding. <laughs> <laughs> that is good as hell. He's up there with McCain right now. You know, That's it's right. funny when I started comedy. George Carlin was like a god. Mm-hmm. Like that, there was nothing you couldn't be more than George Carlin in my mind. I thought George Carlin was the fucking guy. Yeah, and then I go back and watch it now, and it's mm-hmm. like this is so stupid. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's still not, it's a lot it's of it's good. still really good. A lot good. of it's really good. But all that fucking wordplay nonsense. Yeah, like, download dumb. your megabytes. I hate that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I dumb. do. I actually like his first album, like Class Clown. I love that. The album. old yeah. Carlin, like the old clips of him on the Tonight Show Just when he's like jokey. He looks kind of like a normal guy. Yeah. It's like before he became like a hippie grandpa kind of look. Yeah, yeah. He was great. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And um, I always, I was always a Richard Pryor guy when I was like, a, I always thought he was. Yeah, Pryor too. Yeah. yeah, Pryor and Carlin kind of occupied the same space in yeah, my head. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. but um, then even, I but then know. yeah, my like casual yeah. comedy interests are pretty stupid. I thought like Jim Brewer was like my favorite. <laughs> yeah, comedian. yeah, yeah. You said that before, dude. Jim yeah. Brewer hardcore. I, <laughs> I thought he was hilarious. I thought Pablo was Francisco was hilarious. Yeah, that's I remember, true. I remember yeah. being like fourteen, being like, "That's gonna be me, man. A guy that talks about weed." <laughs> yeah. Carlos no. Mencia's first half hour I really liked. <laughs> was yeah. that the one that ends with that him trying to have that like solemn note where he's like, because sometimes, then he just walks away? I think away. it was, yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ. And I was like, damn, Carlos. Really? I mean, I was I like, thought that was I like 11. I like, yeah. I like Dane Cook, that first one. The first, the first presents, Dane Cook was great. It was, was the black tank hilarious, top. Hilarious, the black tank top. Yeah. Oh, it was a big Dane Cook He was guy. using the space so well, dude. He was all over that I stage. I never liked Dane Cook, but I was really? already kind of like a comedy snob. Oh, I then. wasn't. I was like, yeah, I was like 12 but years old, 13. Yeah, we were young as shit back yeah. then. Yeah, I know. I was already a, kind of a snob. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I, that that I Pablo that, Francisco dude. special Just I saw a million comics. times. Yeah. Oh yeah, it was great. And Actually, you had to you do it what, on TV. You know what I miss? Liking stand up comedy. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. 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 Being able to watch it really. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I used to watch comedy and listen to it not all the time. Oh, I, I can't do it anymore. Yeah. Because you know, I don't want I don't want you know to be influenced. My yeah, art exactly. has to be pure, dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My my stuff about how I don't fuck that good. I don't want I don't want anybody else. No one else in the in. game yeah. is doing <laughs> yeah, that. Stop. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stop. You're on your Marco Polo <laughs> shit, dude. Well, it's just it's like uncharted waters, me, baby. A part of me is like, oh, well, is it because that I've been in comedy so long now that I'm jaded that like stuff I see I like judge it more harshly or whatever. But then I go back and watch older shit and it's like, oh no, comedy used to be better. Comedy was easily you think so? Yes, dude. When? I went back. I went. I was like trying like to early sit 2000s? down and watch old Steve Harvey shit to laugh at it to make fun of it, and it's like this man is a, a genius. <laughs> He's he is so much better at comedy, at stand up comedy than like anyone we're fucking friends. What with. the King special? No, no, his, his like independent specials. I don't think I've seen too many Dude, of those. Steve, Steve Harvey is not to be... I mean, he's like a buffoon. And he's an idiot. Are, it's silly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Every then the opinion premises he are, holds is The premises or whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, that shoot, like, sh- uh, send me to Iraq, I'll kill the children. <laughs> it's like, that's funny, though. That's it's really funny, funny, but then his execution of that bit is also so much better than most Well, comedians. he's performing. Yeah, yeah. He's performing, yeah, yeah. but he's like, it's fucking funny, dude. Yeah. 
It's really funny. I think Cat Williams is really funny. Cat yeah. Williams is great. He's amazing. Sure. Cat Williams sure. is fucking his last awesome, special. Dude. His last special was pretty dude, fucking I, good. I, seriously, like white people, white people voting this year in line like they got a secret. Oh, that <laughs> that act <laughs> out, that act out <laughs> is so, so funny. When he does funny. that step forward, yeah, the step thing. I mean, the physicality does, of it. He does that yeah, act yeah. out. But he oh, starts. He's, if you, I watch a couple back to back. He's the, he does a couple of the act outs at the same every time. Oh but yeah, yeah. But I'm that's all his, in. Like, go I don't to. give a fuck. Yeah, you want yeah. you want the greatest hits, baby. Of course. Yeah, I mean he does just do, sweating the second. He does do fifteen minutes, anything. fifteen minutes on Jacksonville at the beginning <laughs> yeah. of the new special. That is like, Never how really the hell does this guy know so much about Jacksonville? Yeah. He's not even from there. Now, our comedy kind of hit a stride again in like the probably mid to late nineties, and. But well, it wasn't that, that like kind of the nice. dark era. But well, that was after in terms, like, of, in terms of business, but in, in terms, in terms of, of like, business, who was funny? I, yeah. I wouldn't say yeah. No. Yeah, but I also do feel like there is like pe- there. I don't know, really old shit. It's kind of like watching the NBA or like old sports. Yeah, yeah, they're like, not as good. Yeah, it's just like there's not yeah. as many laughs per minute. There's not as much of yeah. that shit. And I think yeah. probably there is an there's probably an era that was like more contemporary. Yeah, but compared, argue. to... I mean, look at the state comedies in, and it's like Nanette is the most popular. Oh, true. Yeah, that sucks, Dick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As, well, as it's a, a weird. I mean, comedy is so bad now that it's just moved away from comedy. Which, well, from like, stand up, hey, whatever, dude. People comedy's just, not. I don't think comedy's important. Yeah. So, well, stand up comedy. That's what I'm fucking talking. Yeah, about. yeah. I'm not, yeah. I don't mean comedy at large, but I uh, mean that. It, it, no, that's also true. They don't make comedy movies anymore. They're not profitable. They don't make them anymore. They're like the last like uh, major studio like comedy. I haven't film watched Drew like, Michaels' thing yet. He just had a HBO special. Yeah, right? but there's yeah. no audience. Oh, shit, he's alone. Really? It's him. It's it's like shots of him up close, and then you know, that's weird. Is yeah, good. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't seen yeah. him. I mean, I'm friends with. Is him. it an hour? I like Drew, and he's a good comic, but that seems weird. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Well, I mean, what's that's her like, name? Did that uh, Maria Banford did that for her cats? Her, no, no, she did that for her parents. parents. That was yeah. good. Actually, but it's like different. It's like, it's like how is yeah. this the evolution of She's comedy amazing, instead of just dude. writing more jokes? Right. Yeah. Well, you know? that's what I mean. It's like it's just that's just not the, it's the same thing with Nanette, where it's just like I mean, this could be good, but it's not a stand up comedy. Like it is. I don't know. And where are you going? Adam has to piss everyone. Apologize, Adam. He's, he refuses. Anyway, man. Yeah, it's like, I don't know. It, it, it's I, I, There is an impulse always with anything to be like, well, everything's been done already. But it's not true. I mean, no. that's, just, that, that's never fucking true. Yeah. It's standing on a stage and talking. There's infinite fucking possibilities. For sure. Do it to an audience and make them laugh. It'd just be funny, yeah. Yeah, and... I mean, that's how I feel. I don't overthink the shit. I don't overthink anything. I've try, I try not to think. You don't even, yeah, think yeah, things. Yeah, 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 yeah. Forget overthink. But, like, I just want to get on stage and do what's funny to me and whatever. Right. We'll figure it out. Yeah. I don't really give a fuck where I stand. And I'm not really trying to, like, I mean, I'm not trying to be, re- you know, I'm not trying to be reductive, but I'm also not, like, oh, I have to be cutting edge or whatever. I'm just, I'm a fucking idiot who talks about shit that makes me feel bad and then hopefully I find a joke in it. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, that's yeah, yeah. It. I don't really. No, that's all comedy is. Yeah. Yeah. And I and I don't find it to be a higher art form. I think it's stupid. No, it's not a higher art. Yeah. It's barely art. It's barely mm-hmm. art. Yeah, yeah. But if I can... Some people sometimes, like, on a very rare occasion, can do something. And you're like, oh, that's good. That's That makes me, like, think about how, you know, being alive or whatever. Yeah. Louis had, like, a couple of jokes and specials where I've been like, oh, that's, like... Yeah, that's on a different level. And I'd like to maybe have one. My goal is, but you have to, to be have like in your great special. You have to be in your forties to. Yeah, you. The, it have, comes with like life experience and like to like get gravitas or like yeah. whatever. Or you me, know? Yeah. But. Yeah, I think I think it's yeah totally fine. I mean, Cameron Cameron Esposito's her ra- she did a thing, thing called is, rape I'm, jokes I'm and there weren't any rape jokes in it <laughs> some kind of giant totem that's my going to be my life's work okay it's, like a tower of babel some yes yeah, some giant tower how tall uh it's got to be taller than the world trade center obviously okay. you'd want to go you it would be unfinished you would keep wanting i would to keep building go it higher and higher mm-hmm. would it just be a collection of shit you just like <laughs> just like pots and like <laughs> yes. various just items garbage <laughs> garbage a garbage tower you're hot gluing it together it tumbles and you're yeah. like what's you're, babel that's not Sodom and gomorrah it's a, it's a no babel is it contains yeah. all of the languages and then it was destroyed by God, because he doesn't didn't want 
Oh, and he people... spread everyone else around, everyone around the world, and gave them different languages. He so didn't they... want people talking to each other, yeah. snitching on each other. I think they himself. were trying to get up to see him or something. Be like, fuck with you. Di- with different languages? I don't really so remember that So one floor story. was like Chinese and one floor was no, like... No, no, everyone spoke the same language. Oh. Before they did it, I think. Oh. And then I think God got mad and was so like... So if you're a racist, you actually hate God. Uh, Dude, God gets mad a lot. He really did. Old Testament God, for sure. Yeah, He's yeah, that's my mad. God, baby. He would fucking fi- the like, Jewish set God. motherfuckers on fire and shit. Yeah, the bitchy God. Yeah, <laughs> kill, like, babies just left and right. Yeah. That shit that he did to whatever the fuck, Abraham or whatever. Made him kill his son. That's well, he, up, like, bro. had to, like, get real close to my kill man, his son. Yeah. 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 And then he was like, psych! <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then he's like, you know what, God? This, like, uh, mysterious voice in the sky that I've been talking to, I will kill my son yeah, for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. He shouldn't have done that. That's He's a bad up. father, yeah. and that's supposed to be like Fuck an example of like what faith is. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. is murdering the son that you waited for for seventy five years. And yeah. plenty, <laughs> plenty of women, plenty, plenty of women in Texas have you know drowned all four of their kids and then had to go to jail for that. Yeah, but they had the same exact but you know story. God told that me. God was telling them. Mm-hmm. What's the difference? You know, it's let true. him free. Yeah, agree. they are prophets. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, well, if they're well God doesn't promise that you won't go to jail. <laughs> That's what? true. That's the God doesn't promise that you won't go That's to jail. That's true. <laughs> Abraham gets locked up at the end of that story. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like, damn, that's fucked up, man. You're gonna sacrifice your son. I watched uh, this, uh talking about women, mothers killing their ch- kids and shit. I watched uh the season finale of Sharp Objects. You guys watch that? No, I've as, never, as an HBO inflated show? man, is that something that scares you? Yeah, I'm like, I don't want to go. <laughs> yeah, it popped. Yeah. <laughs> I, to, I literally, when I was a child, Whoa. thought you could do that to fat people. <laughs> that you could pop them and they'd fly around the room. <laughs> that would be Which awesome. Which balloons don't even do. There was that, there was that Monty Python sometimes. sketch about the fat guy in the restaurant. And he's like, uh, Monsieur, do you want dessert? And then he eats the wafer cookie and he explodes. It explodes. That's yeah. pretty funny. I used to think that was really good. Mm-hmm. Um, One of those guys was gay. And he fucked a bunch of guys. Yeah. <laughs> Which yeah. guy was gay? The guy the little with little the guys. pipe. The British guy. Yeah. Oh. The guy uh, with the, yeah, yeah. The little guy. The quiet one. They told, I watched a documentary and they told some story about seeing him just fuck a guy. What's his name? Graham? I don't know. Something? He would just go out and get dick Graham down. Norton. Graham Norton. <laughs> yeah, it's Graham Norton. Dude, you know Graham Dude, Norton's gay? <laughs> you remember when the Graham <laughs> Norton <laughs> show came out? No, of course he's gay. He's the gayest guy of all time. Oh, I didn't the know. Graham Norton show came <laughs> out, and like I didn't know what he, who he was because I'm American. Yeah, yeah, it was on BBC America. Well, yeah. It was on Comedy I, no, Central. It was too, on CW it? or some shit. What? I think so. I don't remember. He had that fucked up like Northern Irish accent, too. It's like, Hold what the on. fuck kind of accent oh, is that? The clips sometimes are on uh, on Facebook, and it's a pretty good show. Yeah, they have a lot of fun on that. Yeah, it's yeah. Like a fun time. You know, Russell Crowe, apparently. Do you know the guy that played Superman was Eng- from England? Henry Cavill? Guy? Yeah, yeah. I yeah, he I, sucked. He, yeah, but I, anyway, he was in the new Mission Impossible. He's the worst actor of all time. He, he met Russell Crowe when he was like a little ass kid. And he said, I want to be a Batman yeah, yeah. or a Superman. And, and something like that. And then they like met up later. Mm-hmm. Or like they were on the same movie, and he's and like, Russell. "Hey, remember that kid from you fucking mm-hmm. talked to?" And he's like, "Yeah." He's like, "It was fucking me, dude." Yeah, there's so a Graham Norton cool effect. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds pretty tight. I mean, dude. it was cool if you had watched it. It'd be yeah. like, it was nice. Well, what's his name? Griezmann from the French soccer team met Zidane after they won the World Cup in '98, Whoa. and he said, "I'm going to win the World Cup," and then they Whoa. just won. Oh, yeah. I mean, it probably so many kids said it. I'm but sure. Yeah, still pretty cool. But he did that. Yeah. Anyways, the first time he I saw Graham that. Norton, I didn't know who Graham Norton was because you know I'm not British or mm-hmm. whatever. Yeah. And it was like, what the f- what the fuck is this? Right, they presented right, right. him as if like you should know who Graham Norton. Of course. Was. Mm-hmm. Like it was a big get. They did the same thing with James Corden. Yeah, that was weird because it was like, what was his, even his credit? Like, what was he huge? Was he's he, like was not he going famous? away. He'll in, never in, go he, away. He was the fattest man in in, in England. <laughs> no, he was a, like a musical theater. Guy. I remember that fat guy that had pictures of the Queen. Oh the yeah, suit. yeah. <laughs> I love that guy. The that unit. Was, that was the best picture of the year. That guy rules. Man. The absolute he's unit. He's like a fridge. Yeah. Oh, was that the was that the origin of absolute unit? Yeah, it was that picture. Nice. That guy was a unit. Yeah, this lad is <laughs> absolute unit. <laughs> the the material that it would take to make that suit is yeah. unbelievable. Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, let's look him up again. So many fucking you could yeah, so many homeless families could have tents <laughs> for that guy's suit. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> How little Who is, is he? Who, I don't, don't like want to know. The Lord of yeah. Yunkenshire. This is why you got to ruin shit by getting too much information. Yeah, it's true. You can you just smile at it. That's how, that's how the Jews ruined religion for themselves. <laughs> well, they invented... Yeah, but then they had to find out that God didn't exist, and now everybody hates them. Yeah. yeah. If they just st- stayed in their lane... How did they find out? By killing Jesus? By learning how to read. Mm-hmm. Uh, they all had to learn how to read because... Judaism requires literacy. Oh fuck! So once the only everyone reads, you're well, like, well, that's why the Jews are hated. Is because you know, it was like the only group of people that required that literacy of all. Every, oh, so it's all nerds. Well, it's all no. nerds. So they all went into finance or banking because no, they knew how to read. How and then yeah. you know no, they right. they would adopt it. usury, which they're allowed to engage in as long as it's towards non-Jews. So then they would just steal everyone's money, or mm-hmm. sorry, take That's everyone's money. Yeah. Wasn't it some shit like it was like uh, you know people didn't th- thought it was bullshit. To Jews be a got the Enlightenment like a hundred years after Europe got it, <laughs> at least like Eastern European Jews. They like the Enlightenment was like in the 1700s, and then the, the bulk of Ashkenazi. The like, Enlightenment. Jewry, what's that? When uh, that's what I call taking a shit. No, mm-hmm. you know, because I I go in uh, enlighten yeah. myself after dropping a fucking fat load. No, yeah, a bunch of people realized there was no God before Jews did. No, I don't think so. Um, no, the Jews kind of always knew there wasn't God as soon as as soon as Christianity was born. The Jews thought, okay, we need another game plan. So obviously, we accept that God doesn't exist. We're gonna we're gonna go into banking, <laughs> which a is a fine. lot of them just hid which in is, shuttles. Hey, Most which, of them hid in which shuttles. is fine. The majority of them went into banking, and they controlled the world's finances. That's not true. That's <laughs> not. <laughs> Weren't they? Ma- they all wanted Jesus to be like some big dick guy with a sword that was going to chop off Caesar's head. Jews did. Know? Yeah, right. Isn't that why no. they didn't fuck with? Isn't that what they were looking for in the Messiah? No, they just suggested. No, they thought Jesus was going to be Jewish instead of Christian. But he showed up, <laughs> and it was, he wasn't Christian. There was no it, such thing no, as Christian. He showed up, and he's like, "I'm Christian. I'm Christian. I'm me. Uh, yeah. I am a man. <laughs> that's 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 like you saying I'm Molian. No, he it's is. not he like it, it's not guy. nothing like saying that. Anyways, the Jews couldn't stand that that <laughs> that's the Messiah not... turned out to be a Christian. <laughs> <laughs> this Gentile is going to tell me what to do. <laughs> is, is there any way we can screw him over with interest rates? <laughs> no, they were just trying to, you know, they lightly suggested to Pontius Pilate they might yeah, want to do something know. about I've, I've heard he's been saying something. They suggested Didn't he something. flip over like he went, he brought the, his shit in the, the money, bank. the money lenders. Yeah. I like yeah. to imagine Jesus walking into the temple like a 80s movie bully, <laughs> yeah. like flipping over cafeteria tables. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, yeah. what's up, Fogel? <laughs> yeah. Trying to have your lunch in here? <laughs> Not on my watch. <laughs> yeah, they, I, I all think, of Adam's friends. I think he made a, like, a oh, tremendous my, mess. My lunch. <laughs> <laughs> my one individual pickle with the side <laughs> of a salt packet. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite lunch to eat. What what's the what the fuck is gefilte fish? I feel like that was the go to punchline for Jewish Some food. Bull, bullshit white fish. It's just like it's maybe th- it's a like composite into a paste. Composite of three uh. different fishes that are kind of ground up like a hamburger uh. and then molded into a loaf. Oh, uh, that sounds gross. So it's a fish loaf. It tastes pretty good. It sounds bad. Dude. It's not bad. But it was a big uh, it was a big joke in Rush Hour. Obviously, maybe that's why. Yeah, I, yeah. Because I love filthy Rush fish. Hour. That movie, by the way, holds up. Rush what the Hour hell is, is a filthy fish? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that was a that was a good. Can you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? <laughs> you understand the words? Can you understand? The words? <laughs> <laughs> Great joke. <laughs> it holds up, baby. Solid joke, dude. <laughs> um, Speaking but. of of. Jackie Chan, we will be in Japan. That's right. We're going country. to Japan. We're visiting the land the, of Jackie the Chan. dojo he grew up in. <laughs> <laughs> I got this Japanese haircut, and I really think it's really embarrassing. What makes you think it's a Japanese It's a good haircut. haircut. It was Shut all up. Japanese people that were at the hairdresser. Oh, is that... So I've always had white trash haircuts? Yeah. Yeah. No, I haven't been. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> no, nah, dude. It looks fine. Shut up, dude. But it looks... It lo- I feel like it looks kind of Super Saiyan right now. Well, I think the answer up. is to continue looking at yourself in the mirror mm-hmm. and fishing for compliments oh, come for your on, haircut. Nick. Um, yeah. We, maybe you we look should, in the maybe mirror. We should do I do sh- look in the mirror, showing. not on the podcast. I focus on mm-hmm. the job I hate and don't want anymore. <laughs> yeah. We'll be free soon, man. I know. Anyway, so yeah, guys. What's the plan? Good luck. At, what's we'll the play? What's no, smart no. money? <laughs> um, the plan is fully realized. 
<laughs> no, we got to figure that out. For um, sure. So, yeah, we're thinking we're going to, we actually are going to go to Japan. We're, we're going to go to Japan before or after Australia. Before. Let's but that'll before. be a nice little fun boys trip. It's going to be like kind of us trying to save the marriage. <laughs> and maybe like we'll we'll have some momentum from it for a couple weeks afterwards, and then we'll just slow down to uh, the slow the pace of our normal lives, and you know whatever, man. I'm eating sushi. I'm eating ramen. I'm eating fucking. Yaki I'm gonna Iku. eat so much food when I'm there. Um, before we go to Japan, though, we Yaki will be Tori. We'll be in Cleveland on so this fucking Is Cleveland Sunday. Sold out. I don't know. I gotta check the numbers, but I don't. We in fact, it's not sold out. They would have said something. So please buy tickets to that. We are in hilarities on the second uh, in Cleveland. Sunday, Sunday, four twenty. So please buy those tickets. Uh, you can find that on my website. And then the next day on Monday, we are in Boston. Uh, we're doing a live podcast at eight o'clock at Laugh Boston. Mm-hmm. That is sold out though. So now there's a six o'clock stand up show. If you want to come see that, I posted the link for the tickets, but I'll post it again. And I also post; it's also on Stavi dot biz s t a v v y six p m biz. Um, um, also, there's Funny Moms the next Monday, which I will not be there because the it 10th? is on the tenth. I will Why? not be there, but Nick and Stav. Why aren't you going to be there? Will be there. It is the Jewish holiday of Rosh Hashanah. Really? Are you really not going to be there? I'm going to go that? see. I'm going to go see my folks. Oh, probably. okay. Yeah. That's nice. That's cute. Damn. Um, I also. I want to get into Jewish holidays. You can, man. They're ca- they're pretty bad for the most part. Yeah. They're not very. Ooh, fun. San Gennaro's coming up. That's, That's a, a better holiday. holiday. <laughs> Fuck. Goddamn. I love San Gennaro. <laughs> um. Uh, let me plug my dates real quick. And I'm in Connecticut on the 7th at the Fairfield Comedy Club, Friday the 7th. Please buy tickets to that. And then I'm in New Orleans on the 14th. Or I'm sorry, on the 15th. And Lafayette, Louisiana on the 14th. Uh, so please buy those motherfucking tickets. And then finally, Chicago. I am at the Lincoln Lodge on the 21st and the 22nd. And then the 23rd, I'm in Detroit doing a fucking hour. That's an early show. Are you, driving, you driving out there? No, I'm taking a plane. Um, How far is the drive to Detroit? It's fucking Dude, I drove, I drove me, Lewis, and Dave out there. You were there. doing coke, though. That's true. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that doesn't mean that I didn't drive there. You no, did drive. No. He did drive. You had, some, you had some help along the way. Yeah. And then we're in Australia in Sydney, the 23rd, Melbourne, 26th, Brisbane, 28th. So buy tickets to those motherfuckers, too. And I guess there's two different shows. It's going to be a oh, podcast and podcast, a stand-up show. If it, yeah, when they sell, sell out, we do, we'll do a stand-up show after the live pod, so... Uh, if you didn't, if you missed your chance to watch us do the live pod, come watch us do stand up or do both. We're probably never coming back to Australia again for the rest of our lives. I'm gonna go once a year. <clears throat> Damn, we need some fucking zannies for the plane, dude. Yeah, dude, we're gonna if get you have zannies. Mail them to Nick or Adam, whose both addresses have been said <laughs> on the podcast. And Stav's address? No, <laughs> do not say it. I Send can't us. remember because it's one of those weird bullshit Queens addresses where they got two numbers yeah. with a dash. In what the, the fuck are they thinking? Of I there? don't know what's going on in Queens. I like Queens, man. I like yeah. Astoria. I'm Hi- going hiding to Nazis, <laughs> weird addresses. You we know, were it's not so much. Him. He, we were. Big I'm. Fans. I'm <laughs> I am <laughs> more mad about the addresses in Queens than harboring a Nazi. For <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna Nick and I have a little Queens uh, date night at the oh, end yeah. of this month. When I when I will be in Chicago. when Stav is out of town. Oh yeah, we're gonna go see Paul Simon. I'm we're gonna jealous, see his dude. final concert ever. Yeah, yeah. Neil Simon died today, by the way. He died uh, yesterday. Are they related? Uh, no. Yeah, well, probably they're both part of the same global conspiracy. Yeah. <laughs> R.I.P. to Neil Simon. R.I.P. to John McCain. <laughs> That's right. Just kidding. R.I.P. Yeah. those guys that got got at the Madden tournament. Mm-hmm. That was pretty fucked up. Yeah, it's been a week of R.I.P. That guy was from Baltimore, the shooter. Yeah? Mm-hmm. David Katz. Represent, dude. Are Katz. you proud? Are you proud Shouts of him? Shouts out. Shouts out no. to Baltimore. Are you proud of him? All right, guys. We'll, we'll be back. Bye.